in this question, we're given a continuous time signal, x of t, and we're asked for the z-transform of x of n, the discrete time version of this, so obviously after sampling. So we want to get from x of t to x of z. But x of z is for discrete time systems, s signals, so we will need an intermediate step. We will need to find x of n. So we need to get from x of t to x of n, and then from x of n to x of z. So there are two steps. So remember, when we sample a signal, we need to replace t with... So t is replaced with n times uppercase t, where uppercase t is your sampling period. Now we're told it's sampled at the Nyquist rate, so that tells us that the sampling rate is twice f max. And f max we can get from omega, from the, the frequency of the cosine. So um, f max is 10 pi over 2 pi. So that's basically omega over 2 pi. So f max is 5, so therefore the sampling frequency is 2 times 5, which is 10 hertz, and therefore Ts is 1 over 10. So that's what I'm replacing in there. So T will be replaced with nt or n over 10. So I can rewrite my continuous time signal as a discrete time signal. That's 5 cosine 10 times pi times n over 10. And I then need to multiply that by a unit step. The reason I do that is because it's a causal signal. It starts at t equals 0. So that unit step makes sure that that happens. So 10 cancels with 10, and I end up with 5 cosine n pi u of n. Now, cosine m pi, that means we're, we're, we're only taking integer multiples of pi. So if you think of that as a cosine wave that is critically sampled, it means we're taking values at integer multiples of pi, so every pi radians. So that will be 5, and that will be minus 5. So we have alternating 5, minus 5, 5, minus 5, 5, minus 5. So we can write that in the z domain. We can, well, we can write it in the time domain as something like this. Um, 5 times 1, minus 1, 1 minus 1, etc. Or we could write it as 5 times minus 1 to the power of um, n multiplied by u of n. And now my final step would be to find x of z. So the question was find x of z. Now we can simply apply the definition. The definition of x of z, we can simply write out the definition. So that's summation, n equals 0 to infinity, x of n times z to the minus n. And it might be better if we were to use another variable, k, k, k. And that goes 
into there. And my final answer would be a summation from k equals zero to infinity. I can take the five outside, say it's minus one to the power k times z to the power minus k. So that is my z-transform. The question was find the z-transform. That is x of z.